Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for February 7th, 2019. I'm your host, Scott. Joining us is Coach Jay. We're going to be showing you that there are opportunities in stock options to make a profit in a very short period of time pretty much every day. We show you daily reviews from Monday to Thursday. Uh, Friday, we take off. We have a long weekend every week. And uh, as we used to say, you know, our goal is 10% in 10 minutes. In other words, it's to make a, a lot better return than you, your money at the bank in a very insignificant amount of time so that you have time to do things that are really important. Making uh, money to survive, to live, to finance your uh, goals in life uh, shouldn't be, you know, taking up all your time, which for most people it does. We get up early, we get ready, we go drive for hours to get to work. We work for eight or nine or 10 or 12 hours. We drive an hour back and there's our day is gone. And over 40 years, it's just a real waste of our creativity and our joy. So what if you could replace your income in, in a short period of time, like two or three hours in the morning and have the rest of the day to do the things that are important, be with your family, travel, you know, do creative things, paint, whatever it is that you really want to do with your life, you know, make a difference in the world, volunteer, help people that are less fortunate than yourself. These are all things that we don't do because we're, too, we're spending too much time in the rat race. So our goal is to get you out of the rat race. And what we want to do is just show you over and over and over again that the system works, the program works, the coaching works. And if you work, you can duplicate our success. So with that, Coach Jay, were we able to make uh, a nice little tidy profit, a nice trade today? Yeah, we were. There's several good trades today and talking a little bit about what you were hitting on there. Making money shouldn't be a full-time job. In my opinion, our full-time job should be improving the lives of our family and our communities. That's, that's where the meaning is, at least for me. And everybody yeah. has their own, you know, identifying that, what their meaning is and their purpose. And I, I, I don't want to be working 8, 10, 12 hours a day at a job to try and make some money. And we can do that here in the stock market in a relatively short amount of time in about an hour a day. And go have fun. Enjoy enjoy our other projects in life. Uh, we were able to make some money today. This is just the, the basket. Right now I've got 20 stocks in my basket based on the filters that I have set. And you can see this big long downtrend which was really nice it had a little bit of up first scattered throughout the rest of the day but for the most part we have this big long downtrend where most of our focus is and the beauty of it is it's in the morning i love trading in the morning because then i get to spend the rest of the day doing the stuff i just talked about so let's see so here. Let's just see. before you move on i just want to talk about the basket for a second uh, the basket is a, a group of stocks. So the Dow Jones Industrial Average is a group of stocks uh, that's like a basket. And Coach Jay, you didn't spend hours and hours and hours going over ticker tapes and everything else to try to figure out which stocks you wanted to put in the basket, right? No, not at all. <laughs> the, the, so the beauty of the software is it does all the heavy, heavy lifting. It says, hmm, based on our criteria or based on Coach Jay's criteria, this stock, you know, meets, ticks all the boxes. That stock doesn't and it throws it out. And we're looking for stocks that are, and there's a number of things, but one would be if you bought a stock option, you could sell it like it's liquid. Like there are stock options that you can buy and then when you try to sell it, it'll be weeks before they're sold. And that's not a good thing. So you know, that's just like one criteria. So these are stocks that we're really convinced will give us the best opportunity for successful trades based on math. And so you brought up the list here. Uh, I'm going to let you take over if there's anything more you want to add. Really, the only thing I want to add is the simplicity of this system. It is all green at this moment, and that's reflected by this last candle and these signals. It's all color coordinated. Coordinated. You don't need to know all these numbers or think that you have to have some background and some financial wizardry or the market or anything like that. The basket is all green. The main, this list that makes up the basket is all green. Hey, this is a good opportunity for a call scenario, generally speaking, from a market perspective. So 
That's really and the you just, you just tweaked one last thing I want to add. If you're blind, we have audio signals and we do have a trader who is pretty much completely blind who successfully trades. So, you know, or if you're colorblind, like we've thought of these sort of things that the program is uh, ideal if you can see and it's ideal if you can hear. And you don't need to say anything. So, you know, we've kind of covered the, that aspect of it as well. Yeah, it, Alan's done an amazing job with all this, making it user friendly. Every color, every line is customizable. What you see on your screen, what you don't want to see on your screen is customizable. And even your your main list of stocks that you want, if there's some other stock that you would prefer to have, you can add that to your list as well too. So everything's customizable to how you want to trade, what your style of trading is. And if you don't have a style of trading, then you can take coaching with us and we can help you develop that style of trading utilizing the software wonderful so let's check a stock let's do that we've got baidu in the morning off to a, a pretty fast start I'm moving a little fast from my computer here and let's go to the morning with Baidu. Baidu had a lot of a lot of movement, but in the morning it had a significant significant downtrend. So here we are looking at Baidu. It's looking like it's going down. The market hasn't quite made up its mind yet, but we don't want to discourage opportunities depending on what your trading style or trading strategy is. There's uh, opportunities pretty much at all times of day in the market. And right here, you see our filters come on. You see this signal light up. Right out of the gates. And we'll go ahead and buy a put and move forward a few minutes to see where Baidu takes us. Right there, we have 12% on one candle and we're hitting the resistance point. This would be a good opportunity to get out. Everything still looks really strong if for some reason you decided you would like to stay in. We'll move forward. And if this resistance wasn't a clear enough indicator for you, we've lost some of our signals. This red's turned to a lighter, lighter shade. And then look at this massive volume spike. If that if that wasn't a clear enough indicator for you that the filters turned on as well too. So filter highlighted the beginning of this move as it broke out of the risk zone and it's highlighting the end of the move along with this massive, massive volume spike at 26%. We'll close that and I will go hang out with my family the rest of the day. There is a few other trades I'd like to show you, but can't sneeze at that at all. <laughs> We're going to switch to a little later in the a uh, little bit later in the day, a little after 10 o'clock. Hey, I'm just take a look at Tilray. Okay, so now we're looking at Tilray. Tilray is kind of popped up on the radar more recently, more often, and there's been some really good opportunities with Tilray. We're on two minute candles, and you can see Tilray went up, tried to challenge this uh, resistance line and this resistance line, and didn't didn't fail, but uh, you know had some issues getting there, so it's kind of wrestling wrestling it a little bit. I'm looking for it to break out. There it does. And there's our filter. So a good call opportunity among many put opportunities in the in the recent past. Always nice to see that. And a huge volume spike within a minute. Wow. And if that wasn't enough for you to get out, I wanted to show this candle. So we've uh, talked about 
some of the wicks and some of the candle size. And you can see that it's more towards the bottom portion of that candle as opposed to the top portion of that candle. It's still green, it's still above its opening price, but it's meeting some resistance for some reason up there. And it's not worth, for me, it's not worth trying to fight it when I've got a 13% gain with it. So we'll go ahead and close there. One of the other things I wanted to point out is there's usually something significant happening when these lines cross on the wrist zone. So that is another indicator to get in among the filters and among the fact that we're above this resistance. We got a little bit of a volume spike here, not as significant as the size of the uh, entry volume spike. But if you look left, you can see that there was another volume spike that was not quite as strong late or earlier in the day and there was a reversal in, in trend there. So yeah. let's go ahead and call it a call it a day or, or call it a trade. We've got one more for you today, but call it a trade and enjoy ourselves with uh, 13%. Yeah, it's a pretty nice trade in just a few minutes. Yeah. There were some pretty fun opportunities, and I like it that they were all earlier in the morning and be able to enjoy, enjoy the rest. I don't want to work 12-hour days. Not, not, not to be making money. I want to work 12 hour days to be improving something or doing a project I enjoy. And if that creates income, sure. If it doesn't, no big deal. I'm enjoying the process. Exactly. We're going to stay on the two minute candle and we're going to look at IWM. So you saw there was that nice green trend there. And a little bit later in the day, the market decides to change its mind. And that's why we don't play the the long game with the market in options. And right there, in a matter of two candles, it gave back uh, most of the profit for the day. And I keep losing my buy sell button. Buy a put and move forward a couple of minutes. Nice big 10% candle just blew through the opening price like it didn't even exist. The market is extremely strong right now and on the downside. Nice. And there we go, we've got filters coming on. We got a volume spike. Signals are still strong, but it has covered a lot of distance in a relatively few candles. I don't want to I don't want to chance it with a 20% gain. I'm going to call that good if for some reason I had missed the other trades throughout the day that we highlighted. Here's another really good one. Let's see what 10 almost 11 o'clock market time. So if you showed up a little late, slept in, had fun the night before and are getting in a little bit later in the morning, there was a good opportunity for 20% before lunchtime. Yeah, and you make a good point is uh, when we're greedy, we think these things are going to go forever, but we know that it goes up and down and up and down and up and down and take your money. Yeah, take your money. Go with the known. It's the, best, the best advice that was ever given to me. We can move forward and see if this continues on. And it does meet some resistance and it does continue on. This is a pretty exceptional trend. Filters are coming back on again, letting you know, eh, you know, there's some significant changes. And uh, then there's a nice big volume spike. This thing just keeps cruising. But I'm good. I'm good with my 20%. That's significantly more than you're going to make anywhere else in that amount of time. <laughs> That's for sure. It's not worth sitting through or taking the risk of losing it on a big reversal candle. Look at this candle here. Big red candle. If you would have stayed in, look at the size of this green candle. You give it all back and actually lose some in that process. Yeah. No, take the money, honey. 
pretty good day. We had Baidu, four minutes, 26%. IWM, four minutes, 20%, 19.6. Tilray, two minutes, 12.7%. So we had a good day, made lots of money. We were able to uh, close down our computer at 11 o'clock and have the rest of the day to do things that are important to us, spend time with our children or our special people in our lives or volunteer, help people that are uh, less uh, fortunate than we are, or be creative. Do some arts that you, that you like doing or read or look after your health. You, but do it, do the trading non-stressfully. Don't, uh, don't ride the roller coaster. The time is a limited resource, free up time. Exactly. Cool. Thank you very much, Coach Jay, for uh, sharing this. This has been awesome. Uh, any last words before we sign off? You know, just really think about what you're doing throughout your day and is it providing you the value that you are looking for? And if it's not, there's an opportunity in the stock market, whether you want to trade options on a short term like this, you know, pretty quick couple minute trades or get more into stock investing. There's opportunities with this software. The nice part is, is if you go through the coaching, it works across all time frames. Whether you're on a minute long trade in options or you're talking quarterly trades in stocks, the same concepts apply, the same foundations, or the foundation applies across all those time frames and modalities for making some money. So you get to diversify with learning one strategy. Awesome. Great. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We really appreciate you. This has been the Day Trader Genius a Daily Review for February 7th, 2019. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.